got two brilliance over here so hopefully you remember these ideas because they are very powerful in the game here we go i went e4 c5 knight f3 e6 d4 c takes knight takes knight f6 knight c3 sometimes there are transpositional meaning they start off in a different opening but we we transpose into it anyways bishop b4 the sicilian pin idea bishop d3 knight c6 now we're in the four knight sicilian and here i've played knight to b3 again again the computer doesn't like this and again they go to play d5 remember this is a good move when they play this you're equal if not better that is unless you go for the gambit line just james gambit and you just go ahead and take take and now you go ahead and castle say take the free pawn all right they took took bishop takes here i played rook b1 again castles queen to f3 again remember bishop takes h7 check is the idea to win this bishop over here and here they played bishop to f6 all right here i continue with the same kind of idea rook to d1 bishop takes h6 uh, uh, h7 sorry to win the queen and here they make a mistake move and they go ahead and play queen c7 now the reason this move is not too good is because it sets up a very nice discovery idea here we look at the idea of bishop to a3 just like in this evans gambit this bishop does a great job on the long diagonal now here one of the best moves to play is actually bishop e7 but most people here are going to move the rook and typically they go the e8 or d8 in this game they played the mistake move rook e8 and now it was white to move and get a very strong attacking idea what do you play here we get to harass and just get a very quick win bishop to d6 double x clam brilliant <laughs> here attacks the queen and you're probably wondering wait can't the queen just take the bishop of course not remember that tactic is still there if queen takes bishop takes an h7 check and we win the queen yet again this is going to be a recurring idea and theme in the game so well of course my opponent didn't fall for that they went ahead and played queen to d7 which actually is one of the better moves here if they do play something like queen b6 then i have the very nice idea of knight c5 opening up and you can see i have plenty of counterplay in this game and actually white is now in a winning position with a plus two advantage meaning i'm up at least two pawns here anyways back to the game here after queen to d7 i do the exact same idea knight to c5 yet again remember the queen cannot take because the bishop takes h7 and like i said the game ended pretty fast here uh queen d8 got played knight takes b7 winning back my pawn bishop takes rook takes knight to d4 a good move and here i played queen to e4 which apparently was not the best now this is a decent move because it threatens queen takes on h7 check but the computer points out a very nice idea here instead which was to go ahead and play um bishop takes h7 check king takes queen h5 check king g8 queen takes f7 check king h7 rook to d3 with a very strong idea of bringing the rook over yep and at this point white is just winning look at this beautiful idea yeah <laughs> computer does a good job here of course i didn't see this one i played the second best move i went ahead and just played this idea of queen over to e4 instead and uh let's see here there we go queen to e4 and uh well i, I still got a very good game here after queen takes on d6 this is obviously just a wah 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 just losing the game right here i was able to get a fast checkmate obviously there was better moves here but you know in these kind of games people do make mistakes so check and then mate and as you can see here a very nice performance rating yet again with 3000